Hey everyone, this is George, and we're here with the new Aliens video, and today we're going to specifically be talking about all of the official covers that have been announced so far for Marvel's Alien comic, which is debuting March 24th, 2021, and a lot of people have been waiting for this, myself included. I'm really excited for this book, I'm really excited to see what Marvel does with the franchise, and there's also a lot of really cool covers for us to discuss, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. So the first cover we're getting is from illustrator In Hyuk Lee. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is the standard cover. It looks really nice. It's interesting. You can tell that it's a xenomorph, but there's also a lot of differences in this image. And this cover has three different covers. There's the standard cover, there's the premiere variant, and then there's the virgin cover. And so of all the covers on here, this is actually one of my favorites. I really like how it looks. Even though I feel like there's differences from like the original Xenomorph design, this still looks really good to me and I'm interested to see if this is a new type of Xenomorph or if this is the illustrator's own interpretation. Because in comics, illustrators, you know, they have their own style. They have their own interpretations. Marvel might have said, hey, you know, it could be a little bit different. We just want the core image there. And I think he nailed it if that was what they wanted. If they wanted the core image to be there, but make it a little bit different, then I think he nailed it. But it looks really good. It's very striking. And for me, this is a cover I really want to get. So the next cover that we're getting is a variant cover from illustrator Ron Lim. And for me, it makes me think of the alien from Alien 3 for some reason. Not sure why. And here we get this solitary xenomorph just emerging from this entrance. And it's very clean and I like it a lot. And the next cover we have is from illustrator Miko Suyan. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it looks really cool. This one's just really striking to me with the xenomorph just kind of all-encompassing taking over this planet and this cover and it just looks really good this one looks very much to me like the original xenomorph design it's just a really nice illustration focusing on the xenomorph and i like it a lot and that one also has a virgin variant to go along with it and the next cover is from the interior illustrator salvador la Roca, and it's a really striking image of an alien and to me it just looks like it's sticking the finger to us but with its tail like, this Xenomorph does not look like it's in the mood to play around with anybody, and it looks very intimidating. And something that I notice here that's kind of different from the other Aliens covers is that the logo coloring is red here, and on the other covers it's white. So that's just that minor detail that's slightly different, but still really cool. But yeah, this is another really nice cover. And the next cover we're going to discuss is from illustrator Ryan Brown. And it's just a really creepy looking xenomorph. And you see the xenomorph there just kind of hunched over looking very creepy like it's up to no good. And it's just a really cool cover. This is actually one of my favorite covers. And this one also has a virgin variant to go along with it. And this next cover I think is going to be one that a lot of fans are going to want to track down. This is a really cool Greg Horn cover. And you just see the xenomorph there springing into an attack. It's a really nice cover, and I, I like the design of the cover. It looks really nice. And this is definitely one that if I see it on the shelf, I'm going to pick it up. And another cover that I think a lot of comic book fans are going to be interested in is this David Finch cover. David Finch is one of the top superstar illustrators in the industry. He's worked at Marvel and DC, and he's done a lot of iconic artwork. So to me, this illustration of the Alien looks very iconic. I like this image a lot, and to me it's very reminiscent of the classic Xenomorph design, which I think a lot of fans will like too. And the next cover is a really fun but creepy alien cover from illustrator Scotty Young, one of my favorite illustrators. I love his illustrations that really capture like childlike imagery, and even though this looks like a funny cover, I'm pretty sure whoever's inside of that suit is about to have a bad time as soon as that secondary jaw comes down on him. It's a really fun, kind of cute, but creepy cover that I like a lot. The next cover is from illustrator Todd Nyok, and this one is a super close-up image of a xenomorph with its secondary mouth extended. And what's really cool about this image is you kind of see like the human skull outline inside of the alien dome. This is another really nice cover. And the next cover has three different cover images. These are from illustrator Clayton Crane. And I think the alien in this image looks really striking. You can see that there are some differences and it's not like the traditional xenomorph, but it looks really cool and it looks very terrifying. As you can see on that poor colonial marine's face, 
this alien looks monstrous and that's what i really like about this cover this one has three different covers there's the standard cover the virgin variant cover and then there's this really interesting green cover with only xenomorphs on it so i like all three of these variants i think they're all pretty cool and this next cover is a really interesting cover it's an homage cover to the classic uncanny x-men cover number 234 and i really like this cover because it's a really fun homage to that cover and it just looks really cool because this xenomorph just looks in anguish and there's three different covers here there's the one that is the direct homage kind of looking like it's poking a little bit of fun at uncanny x-men 234 there's the virgin variant cover and then there's one with an all-white background that looks very striking as well and i like all three of these they look really nice the next cover is from illustrator peach momoko and peach momoko's name is everywhere now she has a ton of variant covers and really popular right now and she's known for doing these really cool watercolor variants and this one looks really nice because it's the skull of a queen looking very sinister and then you see the ovomorph down there at the bottom it's just a really nice cover and there's two of these there's the main variant and then there's the virgin variant of this cover and the next cover is from illustrator alan qua and it has a very detailed image of just the aliens in the hive and they're surrounding this ovomorph that's hatching. What I really like about this cover is it just has this kind of nightmarish feel. Like it's very surreal, like you're in a nightmare. So that's why I like it so much. This one has the variant cover itself and then a different, I would say, virgin variant. But it has like a different coloration with the background being, of course, black and white. And then the ovomorph that's hatching being like that yellowish green. And this next variant cover is from Patrick Gleason. And it has two covers. It has the main variant cover and then it has a virgin variant cover. But I think this image of the alien looks very unique. It looks like it's kind of homaging. To me, it's like an homage to the classic imagery from the original Alien film. But if you look closely at the alien, I don't know if it's me, but this alien looks very different from the traditional xenomorph. And it has kind of like, I wouldn't say scales, but it, it kind of looks very scaly. And to me, it just looks very different. But let me know what you all think if you're getting the same vibe from this one. And the next cover is from illustrator Greg Horn. This one has two different covers. And they both appear to kind of be like virgin variant covers to me. But there are some differences here. In one image, of course, you see like the security officer, probably an android that's about to come face to face with a xenomorph. And then the other one, you have just a clear reflection in the dome. There's nothing you see reflecting back. So this is also a really cool cover, very detailed, especially around the mouth area. You see a lot of details there and it just looks really nice. And this next cover is just the blank cover variant. This one's probably going to be really popular with people who want to get sketch covers done. I know if I were to get this, I would want like one of my favorite illustrators to draw like an alien and a predator facing off. And the next cover following that is from illustrator Steve McNiven. He's actually one of my favorite illustrators. And this one looks really interesting. You just see this alien emerging, reaching out for you from all this circuitry. And it's a pretty creepy image. And this next cover image is from illustrator Marco Mastrazzo. And this one's a really cool, highly detailed image. This xenomorph has definitely killed a lot of humans as evidenced by all of those skulls down there. You think it's a predator collecting trophies, but I like how detailed this image is and it just looks, it looks very visceral. This alien looks like it's ready for anything and it's a really nice image. And the final cover is the no one can hear you scream variant. And it's in this hazy green color and you see like stars in the background. This one, for whatever reason, just really reminds you of the original Alien film, especially with that quote. So that's it for these covers. I mean, there's a lot of really great stuff here and there could be more covers on the way. A lot of times comic book stores in different areas will commission their own variants. So it's possible there will be a lot more variants, but so far these are the ones that have been officially announced and there's gonna be a lot of really nice variant covers. And I honestly feel bad for people who are gonna try and track down every single one of these covers because I imagine it's gonna put a strain on your wallet. But as a collector and as a fan, I'm sure there are a lot of people who can really appreciate all of these unique covers and are going to be more than happy to track them down. So I like that they're catering to every type of fan 
by offering so many different variants. So let me know what you all think, which one of these covers is a must have for you. And you can let me know also, what are your hopes for this Alien franchise? What are your fears for Marvel having aliens, if any? So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.